Hey guys, welcome to another Drool With Me video, a happy dance version. This is for Chatelaine's Autumn Dusk Banner design. And sorry, I can't really fit it all in frame and get a full effect. You'll see it in my floss tube video, but we'll take a closer peek at it. So here's the top section. I did this last and I added this little leaf Swarovski crystal here. Um, it was kind of left blank on a lot of pictures that I'd seen, but when I went back and looked at older pictures, it seems like there was like a grape charm there or something, like from a cluster of, gra of grapes. But I didn't want to seek that out just because it didn't make sense with like the mushrooms and the acorns. Why would there just be one random grape hanging there? <laughs> so I decided just to go with a leaf instead. And I changed the crystals up top. They were supposed to be aquamarine. These are Aronite AB times two. I just really liked them for the blue and green flash. I thought it went well with this silk here that goes blue and green and then these cute little satin stitched acorns and i really like the mushrooms and this was supposed to be a pair of squirrels and they each had one of these little acorns but i don't like squirrels <laughs> so i did the hedgehog which he originally was here so i did the hedgehog and then i added an extra mushroom just because i thought size wise that looked properly proper oh and also i changed this um vine that was with just black silk but i thought it would look kind of stark and i thought well i got plenty of metallics left because at this point i had finished stitching all of this and finished all the metallics up here and i had plenty left over so i was like well let's throw some more sparkle in there shall we it's not really showing up too well on camera but yeah you guys get the idea so and then i added um the mushrooms had these little beads under them i added those beads under the hedgehog just to make him match here's the first section that i finished um without the um fox pendant or bead i just thought it looked really cute there i'll put a link in the description for where you can get this i got it off a seller on etsy i think she makes them out of a mold because she does have more and she has a white one too she also has different animals like fawns and uh like deer deer fawns baby deer and like raccoons and stuff like that so but i really like these kind of buttonhole stitches for the flowers i thought those are really cute and here's the center and this part's my favorite because it's so sparkly yeah lots of crystal changes here i added the flower in the center it was just supposed to be i think the copper colored beads and i thought eh, this one just looks too good so i put it in there I changed these Swarovski crystals here to fire opals. They were just like a brown topaz color. So I wanted to punch the color saturation up a little bit. And then these are also the Aronite crystals just because again, I thought they looked really good with the silk. They were supposed to be aquamarine, which is a very pale blue. So I wanted it to be bluer. And then this part stitched up pretty quick because it's fairly small, even though there's a lot of over one stitches in it. But it's very cool. Didn't make any changes here, I don't think. Other than I th actually, I think, no, I used the recommended. Um, just one thread here. I thought about using two, but I thought it might look a little bit more feathery with it looser. And then here is the bottom. And went with the recommended there, except for I think I used, again, the fire opals for the crystals instead of just like a brown. And this was on the uh, recommended fabric, which I can't remember what it is, but it's this kind of greenish colored um, banner. It's a very high count, not high count, like number wise, but it's, it's pretty large. I'm okay with my coverage, but if I stitch this again, I'd wanna stitch it on like, I don't know, a 32 count, I think, just cause I, I prefer that. Cause this thing is pretty big. I mean, you guys can't tell from here, but when I show it in my floss tube, you guys will get a better idea of the scale. This is more for up close and personal looks. So I think I'd do it on bigger. And I'm planning on finishing it like, like a bell pull. I have plenty of fabric on the top and the bottom. I am not planning on getting the others, except for maybe, I think it's the summer one. It's got like a beehive and lots of like little bee thingies. And I'm kind of down with that. So I might get that one. But yeah, just wanted to give you a closer look at this. I'll just give you one more nice, slow scroll through. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. I'm very happy I finished it during its respective season. And yeah, little happy dance there. So very happy with that. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.